like someone will say something like like the Fight Club or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like, like the Fight Club. I just told them we're from LA and this probably wouldn't fly. Oh my God, they'd run you out of town so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, you know, they don't, no discussion of at all. Yeah, yeah. There's been a few actors though that have come out. But, I mean, they've got the status. Do I'm Clint Eastwood yeah. come out? Say anything? Oh yeah, but you, know, you have to be. Yeah, would. Yeah, you have big. to be super status to yeah. you know to do it. Although, who was telling you? Or someone was telling us there are a lot more than you think. I forget. Someone was telling you. Yeah, yeah. I met this guy. who was an actor, and he worked around. He says, "You want to join the?" There's a name. They even have a name. They says, "We all get together about once a month. There's about 500 of us." Five hundred. And he says, so we get together. There's, they're like secret meetings, like back in the twenties. You know, yeah, I know. We get together and discuss our strategy and how we're going to do it. I'm yeah. finding that too. As I was just explaining to your wife, I met a gentleman that was from a uh, was Covet or Covert. Or, it was a, a small district in LA, but he says one of one of the more wealthy areas. Uh-huh. And he was, it might, might be, but he said that as a poll watcher, he was there the day of the election, 75% voted Trump. But when the numbers came back from the state, the numbers were flipped. Really? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's true. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. And I've talked to other people from L.A., other actors, people involved with them, and they primarily said what you just said, that there's a lot of undercurrent. Yeah. People, you know, keep them, but when they find out, you know. It's like a secret thing. Like, we listen to talk radio out there, and they advertise on the, um, like, the Dennis Prager show and stuff. It's called Relief Factor. So uh-huh. at my boss, at my job, he said something about somebody had a, he goes, have you tried that Relief Factor? And I'm just like... Because ah, so it's, it's like this. Code, huh? So later on, I go, "Oh, where'd you hear about Relief Factor?" And he goes, "Well, on the radio." Cool. And it's like this, you know. Then you know you got and it. then all of a sudden, it's like, "Wow!" You know. And then every day, it's like, "What did your president do today?" <laughs> <laughs> so, but have you seen things in his? Because I mean, obviously, the polarities are getting stranger and stranger. I know it's crazy. Yeah, I know. But the, I mean. At the same time, you can't really hide some of the successes that are. Okay. People are seeing their 401ks, boom. Right you know, so even yeah. well, I know Democrats say I'm a Republican now because you know they've seen it go. <laughs> they like that door. part. Yeah, they like that part. Yeah. But here's one of the biggest things awesome. lately, and this is what I. Yeah, I want to get your opinion on this. Yeah, of course, you know about the DNC scheme. Right. right. This is what's puzzling about me. Well, I expect the, you know, the communist news networks not to, you know, bring this out. But I'm not seeing this being reported anywhere on Drudge. Or even on Breitbart's only did a cursory. Really? Yeah. I mean, Drudge hasn't said a single oh, word yeah. about a what I yeah, think, yeah. arguably, is the biggest political scandal of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just read today that they want to open, somebody wants to open up uh, another um, I hearing or something on yes. the on, on, on Clinton. Yeah. And all of our emails and all yes. yeah. oh, well, inquiry. Uh, these links should have been out there a long time ago. Yeah. But we should have investigations forever. And nobody's reporting it. Fox even just a little bit, not a lot. That's what I'm saying. Even it seems like the right went you know, because now I don't know. The conspiratorial mind I have, of course. This might be, to me, when I'm looking at, might be one of those too big to jail type crimes, in the sense that this is so long going that it would not only bring down the Democratic Party. I'm sure there would be, I would find dirt on a lot yeah, of the Republicans. But also this, even if it was just located on the Democratic side. The powers that be always need the duality. They need that yin-yang to keep the tension. If a scandal would come along to bring down the entire Democratic Party, which this has the potential to do, it would eliminate one whole segment, and there would be an onrush of people over to the right. And, of course, that's the powers that be wouldn't be able to handle that much because they need that... So I don't know. It I just don't know right? yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a reason, and it will come out eventually. But I know. I don't know. I don't know yet. But I mean, I, I, what scares me is look at how long 9/11's been here. I mean, we all. Know. I mean, you're going around, man. Most people now that have done any cursory investigation of 9/11, or at least we were lied to about it. 
you know, we weren't told the truth. So that's a lie we've been living with for 16 years. We spent trillions of dollars and how many millions of lives. What a lie. And yet we're still walking around with our mouths shut and listen to these guys tell us that 19 hijackers pulled that off. We know it's a lie. And so we see this for 16 years, that monstrous crime suppressed. But now we see this monstrous crime. I want, and I'm hoping that because of social networks, because of the internet, we can go ahead and overcome the silence that we have. And you know how Breitbart came out of nowhere, yep. social media and Drudge too. You know, somebody else could come out. You, could, you know what, you're doing it. That's the thing. Well, that's it. We're all that's involved. I mean, you look at, I mean, InfoWars says it all the time. Exactly, yeah. it says it's not me, it's not us. It's all of us. You have to get out there and do something. You, you know, it's just part of the thing that inspired me to do this. What is your response? Uh, People coming in, yeah. people talking to you like Well, you've been here for f- enough minutes to know that. Uh, yeah. Mostly it's apathy. Oh, uh, really? Sure, people are going to walk by and they don't want to be bothered. They're here to get drunk and get stupid and, you know. Some they, people call you me, uh, mean names or nasty names or anything? No, no, most of the, okay, I, I, This is what I found out doing this. I'm doing this five years. Yeah. Mostly it's apathy. People don't give a damn. Overwhelmingly, the people that stop and listen or look at my work and strike up a conversation agree with what I'm doing. The ones that have contention will either walk by silently, they might give a look or a word or shoot a bird or give it to a to comment. But I find them to be collectively dumber than a train load of hammers and they're cowards. If they challenge me, I challenge them back. I say, I'm going to put up $10 to your one. We're going to have a conversation. When I say something you think is stupid, we'll look it up, and then I'm going to take your money. <laughs> do you do the posters? Yes, yeah, it's my one. And I have more disrespectful ones. And I have more disrespectful ones on the other side. If you care to peruse them. I do care. <laughs> yeah, come on, yeah. bud. You got to peruse it too. Yeah, I can walk over. Come on, bud.